Hello everyone and welcome to Straight Talk with Sophia and Juan. Today is April the 26th, 2024 and this is episode number 22 and um, it's just me today so I'm going to read the question myself and then I will follow up with Juan's response. Here's the question. My awakening started at the beginning of the pandemic, and it's been tough. It's been a tough four years since. I've lost friends, almost ended my marriage of 31 years, and so forth. From the time I was very young, I've always felt like I didn't belong, like I was dropped on this planet by accident. It is a common belief that our souls chose to be here at this time to help with the Great Awakening. I beg to differ. Who would choose this? And if this is true, then why do I feel such discontent and anxiety all the time? Why is it such a mystery to figure out what my role is in helping with the New Earth? This would at least give me some purpose to why I'm here. I welcome answers. Okay, and that's the end of the question, and here is the response that came from one. We first will discuss who the questioner is. It is expected that this information will help to enlighten her reasons for incarnating now. The questioner is frustrated, and understandably so. She has waited for what feels like ages to see clearly her role. This is due to the fact of her awakening. She has not forgotten. Even without specifics, this knowing acts as a separator between her and others with whom she shares her days. She speaks for many of you in this feeling. Yet, as she has asked the questions, we'll reference her alone. This questioner comes to us now as an old soul. The path she is anxious to walk now is one she is familiar with. She has walked it before. The knowing that she brings to this lifetime comes from many others, other lifetimes. In these others, she started from a place of not knowing and struggled because of it. A determined and restless soul, she fought her way to knowing after many attempts and lifetimes. Her remembering was glorious, and she aches to feel that way again. It was part of her anxiousness and willingness to come to earth now, the promise of a repeat performance and experience. There are many around her now to whom she is connected. They are expecting her to lead the way. She is one of the brilliant lights here now to illuminate the others on her path. This is not a chore for her, but instead a gift, as she was gifted herself many times before her own awakening. She experienced such joy and fulfillment when it happened for her that she chose to do it for others to whom she is connected. This is a common scenario among the Chosen Ones. Many have come to return a gift that they once received, to share what it is they know to light the darkness. What happens is that physical life on earth overwhelms the psyche and becomes an obstacle to remembering. There is so much chatter here, much of it aimed at convincing you what matters. The ironic thing is that before arriving you knew what mattered. You knew who you were. You were conscious of your essence. From a non-incarnated point of view, it seems a simple task. This is because you are in a state of bliss and knowing then. You remember the exquisite nature of enlightenment. You can't wait to encounter and share these feelings again. It seems like a good idea at the time of your decision, and so you willingly agree. 
the difficulty of human life comes as a bit of a shock. You find yourself battling struggles and sadness and even physical bodily setbacks. This can lead to frustration and to asking, what's the point? The truth is that you've forgotten the point. What is clear is that you haven't given up. This is evidenced in your question. Somewhere within, you are holding out for something. That, my dear starseed, would be your light. It has been hiding, perhaps, yet it has not been dimmed. You are approaching now the time of brilliance. Your inquiry comes from a deep well of knowing. You are here to light the way. So, to be clear, you are not here only for those with whom you share a deep connection. You are here to help anyone you can everyone you encounter, for however brief a moment. This does not mean that you will know who, when, or how you are helping. It is a natural outpouring of your personality. It is a consequence of engaging with others as an old soul. Your light and your love are emitted from you as a constant. As the frequency increases on earth, your reach expands. Part of the reason you are here now, and you chose this time to participate, is because of this rise in frequency. It is an auspicious time for the planet, and you wanted to be a part of it. You asked why it is so very hard to remember your reason for being here. It is to keep things interesting. It is to allow you to discover your strengths, your talents, and your interests, and to then pursue them in a self-driven manner, rather than by rote. Think of how it would feel if someone handed you a checklist of what you plan to do in this life. All you had to do next was follow the list, checking things off as you completed them. It would be mundane and misses the point of yours or anyone's role entirely. Free will is a constant. There are multiple paths to all destinations, and any of them will suffice. The thrill of an earth human incarnation is self-realization and discovery. Remember, passion is a key ingredient to manifestation. Passion is sparked by keen interest. Interests are highly personal and self-discovered. You are shown many things throughout your life here. Some of them bore you. Some of them excite you. You will create a life here just as many ways as you choose to in order to experience discovery and passion again and again. It is the thrill of being an earth human that draws you to this life, and yes, you chose it. You gladly did so. Admittedly, you are living through extraordinarily challenging times. These will become extraordinarily fascinating times for you, eventually. There is light at the end of your journey. It is supplied by you and the many others who also arrive to assist and to lead, and to show the way. It is because of your willingness to be here at all that this is possible. The coming transformation will be brilliant. You will enjoy full recall then, and comprehend everything. We'll now spend some time considering the strength and determination and goals of this questioner as well as all other starseeds and wanderers and warriors who have felt the same way. For this questioner is not alone, not by a long shot. There will be a time when you will gather together and recall all of it, the eagerness to participate as well as the hardships once here. 
your joy at being a part of such a pivotal role will exceed your expectations. There will be relief. There will also be pride and satisfaction. For you will have helped not only yourself and your immediate family, but also the entire Earth human race. This is no small feat. You have heard that it is the strongest of the strong here now. This is clear in the framing of your question. Also clear is that you are not fully conscious of your strength and tenacity. Not everyone chose to be here for this transformation. Not everyone was chosen. You were. To participate demanded skill and development that you would call magic while embodying an earth human. You have these traits and abilities, not just some of you, all of you. There are no lesser or greater change makers. There are change makers. They arrived on earth knowing its people were captured in order to remind them of truth and guide them into the light. All of this while physical. It is the degree of remembering that differs amongst you, not so much ability. These recollections will come in time, in your own time, and in the most perfect way for you to appreciate and utilize them. You set it up that way. If you are frustrated, it may very well be that this is the stimulus for you to remember. You will. Trust. There is only love behind this incarnation, and only love in your core truth. You will not exit before discovering that for yourself. That is all. Godspeed, my enlightened one. Godspeed. So that's the end of the answer from one. I really enjoyed it, and I hope that you did too. Um, some of it feels like we may have heard it before, but it was a nice reminder. And I really liked the comparison of... Um, Someone wasn't handing us a list of what we were supposed to do versus us figuring it out for ourselves. That, that brought it home, at least for me, and I hope that it did for you. Um, thank you so much, all of you that are listening now, and the person who asked the question for contributing to this series and to this journey as a whole. Um, we need to share with each other. Uh, I think that makes it easier on all of us. I'm sending each of you lots of love and light, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.